Rob Seitz. I'm the uh, president of Russ Matt Baseball. We uh, bring in about 230 college teams down here over a six week period and uh, play about a thousand games uh, during that time frame. The big, biggest thing is these guys getting down to this weather. A lot of them are from the Northeast and you know a lot of dealing with snow and haven't been out on the field yet. So these guys are excited to get down here in this weather, these beautiful facilities that we have here in Polk County and uh, get out there and play some baseball. And a lot of them do a lot of practices as well while they're here. So. So the week before we were supposed to go to Shenandoah, it got canceled because of snow, actually. Um, rescheduled the game, but we're able to come down here in beautiful weather and actually get out on the field. Um, we were outside back home, but uh, on turf and you know not actually on our home field. Um, but it's nice to be able to get down here in and, and the weather and, and play games. You know, we'll play eight games in seven days. Um, and that's big for us to be able to try to play a 40-game schedule. We're allowed 40 games. Through a registration uh, process, there, um, then they get, then they kind of choose game schedule, what they want to play, when they want to play, how many games they want to play each each day, if they want to practice or play games, um, and then we put together that schedule for them. So it's really not a tour tournament format per se. It's more of just come down. You want to play 12 games over seven days, we'll set that up for you. If you want to play five games over eight days, we'll set that up for you. So we do, we take care of the coaches and on their scheduling and uh, put that all together for them. Well, it started from, uh, I think there was about 30 teams the first year um, to now where we're having, you know, we're, you got 230 varsity teams, you got another 75 JV teams competing, competing as well. So um, it's it's grown a lot from the, from the beginning and we've been pretty steady for the last uh, five or six years of over 200 teams every, every year there. I mean, it, it's it's at a great size right now, and we really max out our our facilities, um, you know, that we have that we have as well. So there's not, I don't know if there's going to be a ton of growth as far as team wise, but it's definitely, I mean, a necessity um, for we've got foul balls coming in here. It's it's a necessity for these teams to come down here and play during this time. So um, you know, they've got to get on the field. This is a big part of their season, getting ready for conference play. Um, and they, and some of the teams even come down here and play their conference games while they're here as well. So um, you know, it's it's something that these teams need to do. They love the facilities. They love all of our housing. Polk County's got some great restaurants for them as well. So it's a it's a great setup. Uh, you know, all of our teams just love being here. And and you know, you guys all with Polk County do a great job of uh, rolling out the red carpet for them while they're here as well. So it's uh, you know it's a it's a great experience for them. And as long as the weather cooperates for us, it's it, it works out really well. Yeah, the tournament's been run great this year. Uh, this is the first year we got to hit on the field. Uh, we come down here, uh, you know, 80 degrees, beautiful weather, and it's nice that we actually get to take BP on the field. Um, you know, organized. It's, it's just great tournament so far.